Most of us know from a young age that the correct order to write dimensions is horizontal, then vertical, and then depth, X, Y, and Z. And the previous blog post goes into this in much more detail. And it points out that pretty much everyone follows this convention that I can tell, except for fine art dealers and the fine art uh, sculptures and such, and mobile phones. And to me, it's unclear why mobile phones and tablets display their dimensions and their screen resolution with height first and then width. This, to me, seems backwards. And if you want to see some screenshots, uh, go to the blog, gregoryschmidt.ca, and you can see the original content uh, in the article. But essentially, from what I can tell, when you look, for instance, on Wikipedia at either the dimensions of the iPhone XS or the Samsung Galaxy S8, they both record on Wikipedia height, then width, and then depth of the actual physical device. And then when you go onto the Apple website, you see in the specifications that the height and the width of that screen is 2436 by 1125 pixel resolution at 458 pixels per inch. If you go to the Samsung website, you see the same thing. They record their dimensions first in the uh, height of uh, you know 148.9 millimeters of their device, and then the width, 68.1 millimeters, and then the depth. And then when you look again on their display, they also write that their display is 2,960 by 1,440 pixels. Now, this is different, though, when you go into, for instance, look at the technical guide for developers. If you go onto the Apple product website for their technical guide, you can see in its iOS device display summary that they first show the horizontal uh, resolution of the native pixels, and then the vertical resolution of the native pixels. And so uh, they do know that in convention, I guess, in user interface design or in just general design, that's the standard being followed. So it's unclear to me why in the marketing and the specifications of these products, they use the alternative uh, flipping of these on the access. When you look at tablet dimensions, it actually gets a little bit more interesting. Again, if you go to Wikipedia, you see the same thing, that we follow height, width, and depth on, for instance, the iPad 2019. But if you look at the specifications on the Apple website of that display, they continue to write the um, longer number first, for instance, 2,388 by 1,668 pixels at 264 pixels per inch for the 11 inch iPad retina display. But the way they display that actual um, tablet on their specifications is in landscape mode. So th the, that means that in theory, based on the way that they're displaying the landscape mode, that actually matches showing technically horizontal, and then vertical resolutions. And when you look at, for instance, the 7.9, uh, the iPad mini, they also, again, continue to display what used to be the vertical resolution first, or the, but because they've flipped the device in their specifications on its side to be wider, it actually now matches up to be writing it as horizontal first and then vertical. But of course, if you go elsewhere on the website, you see that the products are always being advertised in portrait mode. It's just in the specifications document that they actually flip them. Now, what about on uh, Samsung? If you look at its Galaxy tablet, uh, they're continuing to use height, width, and depth in the way that they describe its uh, specifications. And so I don't know the answer. I don't know why uh, on phones and tablets this is the convention. I would love to know. Uh, please email me, uh, message me, contact information is all on the website. And as I say, if you want to see the original screen resolutions, you can access those on gregoryschmidt.ca.